In this video, we'll be finishing off the case of our Odroid Media Computer. In the last video, we completed the installation of the two Nokia fans, one as an intake and one as an extract fan. What I wanted to do in this video was to have a mechanism by which the LEDs on the main motherboard could be displayed on the front of the unit. How we've achieved this is by use of a fiber optic cable which runs round, behind and out to the front of the unit. Now this is secured in place by means of a small guide strip here, which just so happens to be wood, which is guiding the fiber optic cable down here, right down to the motherboard to where the LED is. In this case it's directly mounted over the LED which displays activity on the M2 SSD card. There are indeed five LEDs on the main unit, but the one I was most interested in was the one for the M2 activity. I had originally planned to take the fiber optic cable out to the front of the unit here. However, fiber optic cables of this diameter are fairly brittle and not easily bendable over short distances. It was much easier to take a much longer length of the cable, tuck it into the grooves in the maker beam and guide it into the front just above where the power switch is. This is in fact secured into place by a small dab of Gorilla Glue. So when we apply the power cable to the back of the Odroid, and we switch on, we can see the small green light is flashing away quite merrily. The fiber optic cable is guiding the light from the LED on the motherboard all the way around to the front of the unit. And with the light on the power switch we know the unit is actually switched on and with the green light flashing we know that we do have disk activity. So what we want to complete today is the rest of the case. We have an acrylic top which we want to fit to the top of the case and onto this we're going to put some magnetic tape. This magnetic tape comes in rolls, is magnetic on one side and adhesive on the other. So all we're going to do is strip off the protecting plastic from our acrylic sheet And onto this we will stick our tape. And the final piece of tape and this adhesive magnetic tape will be what sticks us down to the lid. Now as Maker Beam is aluminium the magnetic tape will of course not adhere to it. What we need to do is to put some steel paper around the edges of the unit to which the magnetic tape can adhere. This is our steel paper which I've cut into strips and the final piece Now that all of these have adhered, our lid will fit in quite nicely. Like so. And there we have our lid, quite easily secured on the top of the unit. 
and easily removed should you need access to the main case. So there we have our media computer, fully functional. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.